hello and welcome to the new tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be making something like this yeah a um, tossing between the name of sinister or deep grunge background but I think I'll go with sinister we have and you will need a render of your I don't know anything but I have attached a render in the description for Corvo Atano from the game Dishonored sort of matches the sinister look and sort of feel um, um, I'll leave all the links in the description for the brushes the fractal which we have here and here and the debris brushes and the texture in the background as well so and this is a background so yes or you can even use it as a signature but I don't know what you want to do with it. So you need to go into your settings, your display settings on Mac, PC, and find where they are and find how big your desktop size is. I think mine's around this. I think. And I'll just go with that because that usually fits my desktop. Next you want to get your blend tool with your foreground colour set on this purple here 0E000F for the HTML notation and for your um, background colour you want this grey here 353535 and you want to set the shape to radial and um, click the arrows to toggle the reverse and drag the radial gradient out around here because you want more purple than grey cool so there's mine now I'll create a new layer and call this layer clouds and you want to set your foreground colour to black and select your cloud brushes now in the description I'll leave two links for brushes, well three probably, explosion brushes and then cloud brushes. But for this one I'll probably just use the cloud brushes. And you want to ramp the size up to around 500. And you just want to click, pick a new brush. and continue doing this till it's around the whole thing. I do think I will add some um, explosion brushes with this because the cloud brushes are good but they don't like fulfill the whole they only work on the bottom and top, I reckon. Go here. I'm going to go select some explosion brushes, which are down here. Continue switching brushes until you get something that looks this cool so we have our clouds just make that there we go we have our clouds I'm not sure if it's too dark or not but it looks good for now next we want to go we want to duplicate this layer and so move we don't want so much in the bottom, we just want like the clouds moved over here and set the layer mode on overlay and lower the opacity a bit more so it's like creeping in. Just move it a bit here and then get your eraser tool and we're just going to erase. Whoopsie. Erase some of the corner bits. They make it look quite ridiculous. Just 
bits like that. And I think we have it going good. Okay, cool. The next step in the process is you want to open up your sinister looking render. Cool, so I have my render right here and you simply want to move Corvo just down like this. Make sure the rat, this one rat and this rat is quite visible, adds to the sinister look. And we simply want to copy the clouds layer and move him, move them above Corvo. You want to just duplicate that. We need to get some more clouds just below his feet. I want that like looking like it's coming out of the clouds. So add more on this duplicated layer. I'm going to add one just here. Cool, and he's going to add a glow. The next step, we want to create the shifting two duplicated figures behind him. So duplicate this. And on the bottom two, call them blur one and blur two. Okay, on these layers, we simply just want to move them over and down like this. Same with blur two. Don't worry about their background feet things, we'll fix them later. So on both blur one and blur two you want to go to filters, distorts, shift. Where are they? I'm gonna up my shift to around eight pixels. Whoopsie, I moved the wrong layer. Um, this is not blur one. This is blur one. Sorry guys. Um, and this is cool. Okay, so on your layers dialog, before we do any filters, you simply need to see that blur one and blur two are on either side of Corvo. I did not look, so I failed. Okay, next you want to go to filters, shift, uh, filters distorts, shift. Then shift them by eight. Again, repeat shift on blur two. And you want to set the layer mode on overlay. Overlay. Not overlay, sorry. Lower, just lower the opacity to around 19% because overlay darkens them, which is the effect we don't want to go for. And then get your eraser tool on a fuzzy brush. And just erase the bits under them, like so. So Corvo is the main centre of the image. Now we're going to duplicate Corvo one more time and call this Glow. And go Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to blur him by around 14 pixels. Not 15, we'll go 15. And we're going to just put that behind him. Cool, so now we have Corvo with a nice little glow that you can see. Okay, the next step of the image is 
to let me just check if I missed anything. Ah, cool. Haven't missed anything. The next step of the image is to open up your texture. And I'm gonna my textures right here. I'll leave a link in the description and you just want to leave that above all of them and set the layer mode on overlay and then move it below all of Corvo and there we have our cool textured background next you want to get your brush again and you want to get a debris brush I'll leave a link in the description same brushes we used in last week's tutorial if you've been following along and you simply want to place some debris you want a big brush like that and simply place debris oops see you need to create a new layer above all of that sorry guys getting mumbled up with all these layers and call it debris and you just want to click and click over the place you might need to click twice to yeah click twice because it just brightens it or darkens it sorry makes it more visible word and yes that should be good next of all we need to go file open these layers and we're going to add some fractals and I'll leave a link in the description for um, Green Tunix Fractal Packs number three we're going to be using and we're going to be using 3-7 open that and we have this ridiculously sized fractal for our image and you just want to drag the spectrum over here so it can't be seen and set the layer mode on uh, addition there and get your eraser tool on a fuzzy brush and we just want to erase this ridiculous flare that's coming along and we want to just duplicate that and move the image down I just want to get that flare behind. I want it sort of visible, not there we go. And again, get your eraser tool. And we're just going to erase these sharp edges on both copies. Smoothen it out. Look, like, it's like straight, we don't want that. We want. I know why it wasn't working, guys. You need to right click, add an alpha channel. Add an alpha channel. And then we can start erasing. Yeah, now it's working. And there we have just need to get rid of that. That really doesn't. And I think we've done all the steps until the last step, which is 
in fact to just rotate this because yeah, so rotate your flare over from there to over here because that really was bugging me that that these bits of straightness like that they're bugging me um you want to just go to image uh, layer sorry new from visible and that just creates a layer completely new from visible what it can see next we want to go set our gradient on purples see if I can find it purples it comes with GIMP so no need to worry downloading and and we just want to go to colors colors map gradient map set this one overlay and there we have our sinister looking desktop background again you can use any um, any render you like and thanks for watching um, if the tutorial was a bit unclear just go back it I did everything it, yeah I did um, this tutorial I made the final image a couple of days ago and it seems I've forgotten some of it so I'll catch you next time <laughs>